Hey guys, and welcome back to The Thing. When we last left off, we were trying to find Mr. Faraday. Well, I'm pretty sure he's got to be around here somewhere. So, let's start cracking on with some progress, shall we? So, there we go. We have uh, activated all the switches. Let's have a little look in these computer monitors. Ooh. Looks like we have some gribblies down below. Hear it. Um, oh, that didn't sound good. That didn't sound good at all. I like that. So I've just recorded Titan Tries and I've muted my phone because it was going batshit crazy. And I've literally just started recording uh, this video. And uh, my tablet starts going crazy. You can't win. You honestly can't win. Okay. Doesn't look like anybody is down here. Ah, nope. Okay, where are you, Mr. Faraday? You must be hiding somewhere. There you are. So, he's the bastard that's been involved pretty deep in all of this stuff, it would seem. So... Let's go and find him. Now, we should have all of the doors open. Uh, we probably don't want to be rocking the sniper rifle. Let's be honest. Oof. And I tell you what, guys. You don't play a game for a week, and then you forget all the controls. Uh, when I loaded my save as well, we had no body. <laughs> Again. So I had to use one of our test kits, you know, for science, to make sure that we're okay. Now, our boy does have a weapon there. Cool. Let's head deeper into this mountain of madness. Ooh. Got new gribbly poppers on the walls. Now that's something we don't really want to tango with, if I'm honest. Okay. Ooh. Hello. All right there, Chief. You good? Hello, sir. Hmm. You're in the test chambers. I don't trust you. So you're going to get nothing. F oh, God. Hello. Jesus. Uh, that's fine. Burn them. Burn them all. Liberal use of fire. There we go. That one's toast. You right there, Chief? You can follow me for now, but I don't trust you. In fact... Oh, thank you, sir. Well, I mean, you're a medic, so you know what? You know what we're going to do? Let's select that. Can we use it on him? Oh, there we go. Told ya. Don't trust the bastards. Yeah, what do you think of that? There you are. Liberal use of fire. Dude, can you not shoot me in the face? Jesus. You're supposed to be on my side. You absolute dictator. Right, cool. Unfortunately, that dude there was our medic. Which is kind of curious that he was healing us. Man, we took some damage there. Well, that's... All right, I'm okay. Yeah, you're good, are you? Are you sure? All right, Price. Uh-huh. Charlie Manson stuff, is it? Okay. So my controller's... Ooh, flashing. I'm guessing that means it's long battery. Right. Walk softly and carry a big stick. Oh. Yeah, he wants some more. And we're going to give him some more. There we go. Huh? You like that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuckers. Honestly. Right, one second, guys. I need to charge my controller, apparently. First time I've had to do it. Okay. 
All right, any other mutant bastards in here? Looks clear so far. All right, I'm guessing the red one is where we need to go. Come on, Price. Let's see what we can't find. Faraday. There you are, you son of a bitch. Dr. Faraday, I presume. I don't think we've got time for formal introductions. Can you get us out of here? Sure, Doc. Follow me. Oh, and keep your ass covered. I'd hate to see you get an unwanted suppository. <laughs> <laughs> I like that line. <laughs> All right, now let's give Mr. Faraday a weapon. Probably could use it. Uh, we'll give him the pistol. Oh, we don't have a lot of pistol, do we? Well, well, hmm. we could give him the sniper rifle, I suppose. Um, we do have two shotguns. Do I really want to? All right, hang on. Let's think about this. Right, let's. Take the weapon and ammo. Uh, I guess he's like got like maximum trust. I suppose there's no other way around it. To be fair, let's give him some ammo. We do want to be a little bit ginger with it because you know we don't have a huge amount ourselves. Right, you take the shotgun, chief, and you try not to blast my asshole out. I would certainly appreciate that. Uh, you know what? Probably give him a med kit as well. There we go. Not perfect, but it'll do. Right. Oh, I forgot about you, scampy little bastards. There we go. Liberal use of firepower. Right. Don't you change, Price. I'll be very disappointed in you if you do. There we go. Now, I'm curious as to how Mr. Faraday survived all this time without actually becoming one of these deadbeats. Okay, careful now. Definitely want to clear the door. Because they do have a nasty habit, it would seem, of actually blasting our own asses. Which is jolly and decent of them when you think about it. Yeah, well, I hate this job too, but somebody's got to do it. And it looks like the burden falls on us. As always, these things generally do. Right, let's go back through here. We can grab some med kits as well. But things have taken a turn for the worst in here. Let's light this fucker up. Beautiful. Ooh. You good, guys? Okay, everybody be cool. Let's see if we can't grab some more ammo. I think we took everything here, didn't we? Ooh. Definitely didn't want to get... Oh! Oh, Faraday's a, a medic. All right. I mean, that's cool. Right, do we have... a spare machine gun? I don't think we do, actually. Oh, uh, no. That's unfortunate. All right, we've got plenty of those. Let's grab some med kits and get out of here. Nice, load up on those. Now this is where our friend came from, wasn't it? There's only goodies left here. There's some flamer fuel and whatever those are, they're grenades. Now, as I said before, we can actually use the grenades, um, but in our grenade launcher, but they're just really not that effective, at least from what I can understand. Ooh. We got gribblies. We got gribblies. Hose them down. Hose them down, boys. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Let's make some mincemeat out of these. Ooh. Stand back, fuckers. Right, let's toast these bastards. There we go. What do you think of that? Oi, can you stop shooting me in the arsehole just for once? Why are they blue? Should they be blue? I don't know. Right, so our boy... Hmm. Pierce here. Or Price. 
He's out of ammo. I, I guess we can give him what little we've got left, but... All right. We don't exactly have a huge amount ourselves. Good man. All right, Faraday. Whoa! I'm okay. Forgot about you. You're okay? Fine. What about me? You shoot me in the ass. Probably. You're probably right. All right, okay. right, well, this place has gone a bit shit suit. Up shit creek. But that's fine. We are accustomed to these things happening to us these days. Oh, that's not a happy sound. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, can you please pull it together for five seconds and stop shooting me in the ass? You know, I don't ask that much of you guys. All I ask is do not kill me, right? It's a very small, specific list of requirements. <sighs> anyway. Let's keep going. Wow. This place is... Either we're tripping balls or this place is uh, pretty fucked. You right, the chief? Yeah, heal me up, please. Cheers. Oh, so it's cold out there. Interesting. Well, I know we're supposed to be going through there. There we go. On to the next level. Yeah, <clears throat> not a fan of being shot by my own people, to be fair. Which leads me to believe, is he my own people? <gasps> or leads me to wonder, I should say. What the hell? Stand down, soldier. Good to see you, doctor. We need to talk. All in good time. But first, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask for your weapons. I'm not doing anything until I get some goddamn answers. You're out of your league here, Blake. So I guess this isn't my Medal of Honor ceremony, is it? A little premature. Right now, we need to have you both tested. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not infected. My men are dying out there. I've seen firsthand what this infection is capable of. Oh, you have no idea what it could do. You son of a bitch! You were smarter than that. Jesus Christ, what are you doing? Just a tranquilizer, Faraday. Do you have any idea what's going on out there? I have a perfect idea. Jesus, you've done it, haven't you? You... There's so much I have to show you. I think you'll be impressed with the results. Pick up Sleeping Beauty and help escort the good doctor. He's had a long day. Well, that was interesting. Double crossed. Who'd have thunk it? Looks like Faraday is not exactly in the loop anymore. Might explain why he was locked up. <laughs> Security status Amber in sectors one to five. Non Gen Inc. personnel are required to leave the installation immediately. I'm out of coffee. Ooh, there's a head in the jar. What do you think you're doing, Faraday? The infection has spread across the base. All of the organisms have to be destroyed. If it reaches the mainland, there's no stopping it. Quite the contrary. I'm living proof that the infection can be controlled. Uh-oh. No. No, that's not possible. The results can't be ignored, Doctor. I will be remembered as the first successful test subject. No, not if I can help it. I don't need your help. Well, that's bad. Test subject termination sequence aborted. Security status green. Re-established in all sectors. Hmm. This does not bode well for us. I'm 
you're hurt bad, well, we don't even know where the hell we are. This is rather unfortunate now, isn't it? So it looks like Faraday was using that control panel to try and... Wait a minute. Where's Faraday's body? Mm. So anyway, Faraday was using that control panel to try and jimmy rig something. How curious. Well, we can turn the power back onto the med bay. There we go. That's a little bit better. We've got some more lights going on in here now. Oh, evening. You all right there, buddy? You good? You happy? Yes, we like that. All right. So, um, problematic. Very problematic. We have some cameras here. Well, uh, you know, I don't think this situation is under control. Uh, I'm seeing bodies here. I'm seeing gore and viscera. I'm seeing the infection running around. Oh, hello. Talking of the infection running around. Are you part of the staff? Uh, I'm going to say it's probably not part of the staff. Uh, but he does appear to have access to the hallway. So maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. Okay. Now... We have been relieved of all of our possessions, because of course we have. So we can open this door. Oh, evening. Hello. Thank you. You're, you're, you're really good. You're one of the... Ah, you son of a... Okay. Right. We probably want to lock these guys in here, to be honest. This is not going very well. But we can read some information here. J. Uh, J. F. Blake has been under observation for a few hours now. Due to his combat training, he is being considered as extremely high risk risk to the security gate. Uh, to the hang on, let's start that again. He is being considered as extremely high risk, so the security gates have been set to recognize his DNA sequence. The gates will sound the alarm if he passes through and activates the automatic defense system. All other personnel can pass through the gate without tripping the alarm. The only problem is the malfunctioning gate in the armory, which should be fixed soon. Well, that sounds like something that we want to get ourselves uh, acquainted with, doesn't it? So that's the cryo area power. Can we push the button, please? Thank you. Um, now, this is a little bit unfortunate, isn't it? We probably are going to die here. Yep, that, this does not bode well. Right, Jesus. Okay. We're, we're a stone's throw away from death here, which is a little bit awkward. And I don't think we can use, like, the medical bay or anything like that to actually heal ourselves, which is uh, not fantastic. In fact, I don't think there's any way here whatsoever of healing ourselves, which, well, that's probably going to be a problem. Um, we've got Mr. Tickles running around in there, and he's problematic. But we're going to have to let him in, I guess. And hopefully try and lock the bastard in here. Um, hey, buddy. Hi. How are you doing? You having a good time? Good. We like that. Excellent. How about you You stay in there a minute, friend? Because, well, we're in a bit of a pickle. Ooh. We've got some bullets and some things. There's the sterilization area power, but we don't have anybody. There's a medic in there who we really, let's be honest now, we need to have a little chat with him. Uh, you know, about our medical insurance. Ooh. Oh. You are dead. Well, that's inconvenient as well, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> oops. Right. Let's try that again, shall we? God damn it. And I'm going to take this opportunity to go grab some coffee. Okay, so coffee has been attained. And we are back in business, baby. So uh, this, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this bit uh, kind of, oof, it is... <laughs> 
It's a cool idea, but it also sort of sucks, and you shall see why. There is a lot of uh, micromanaging that's going to happen now. So, we need to sneak around this place because we have no weapons and any of that good stuff. Um, but there's not a huge amount we can actually do with these guys. So, let's start by accessing this computer that I totally forgot about last time. Dr. Sean Faraday, Chief Medical Researcher, Gen Inc. Initial bio profile of test subject R.C. Whitley suggests a high risk of cellular rejection if implanted with the B4 strain of the cloud virus. So this virus has a name. This is by no means conclusive, but it leads me to think that subject 873 may not be susceptible due to illness and company status. But he kind of did it anyway. So, right, what we have to do here, we've got our Mr. Tickles outside. And, well, we can't really have that. So we need to get him inside. Come on, you big, ugly sack of shit. Let's be having you. Right, we're going to lock him in. And that's him uh, dealt with for now. But this is where we have to play a bit of uh, Tetris with these doors and our characters. So, we can repair the sterilization area. Let's get this thing firing. There we go. That's what we're talking about. And in here, there is some, well, some buttons. We're not going to play with the buttons. But we are going to have a little look through here. So we've got another dude up there that needs rescuing. We've got Mr. Tickles locked safely away in there for now. And we have our friend in the sterilization chamber. You all right there, buddy? Maybe I will. Now, this guy starts instantly off uh, with somewhat high trust. Okay. Um, we don't actually want... Well, we kind of do want him to follow us, but not yet. So, god damn it. Really finicky, this system. So, we've got a little bit of ammo. We've got another magazine. Let's give it to him for now. Um, now, I kind of want you to follow me. But... Not far. Oof. This is where things get delicate, I'm afraid. Uh, shit. Okay. Right, you stay there for now. Um, we need to get Mr. Tickles out of there again. And away from us. Now, the good thing is, once we unleash him from his prison Oof. we should ow thank you we should we are trapped which is less than fantastic okay fine <laughs> now now he's back out there and he can't get in he should return to his patrol pattern which is kind of what we're hoping for don't know how long that actually takes I'll be honest because we need to get then get him in here. There we go. He's patrolling. So we want to wait for him to go all the way around. Then we want to come through here. Open that. Shut that. And you, boyo. I need you to follow me. Good lad. Now, luckily, this guy is a medic. And he's weaponized. Two of these things we really like. So we want him. No, don't go in there. Good lad. Keep going. There you are. That's what we want. So we want to open this. We want to get you out. Come on. Actually, we want to keep that door open. And let's come through here. There we go. Lock you off. Now we can get into this room good and proper. And because our boy here is actually weaponized, we can deal with these guys. There we go. Careful with that ammo, buddy. You've got two magazines. That's it. It's only 100 rounds. Please be precious with it. 
Now we can get this repaired. Get the cryo area back firing up. And we've got a log here that we've already read. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. All right, I'm okay. But we're not going to die here oh, now. Or maybe we will. I don't know. I'm not a professor of what's going to happen next. Now, where is our... Where's our friend? Right, he's going back. So now, we want to open this. We want to charge off into here. Come on, get in the door. There we go. Now you, sir, if you'd be so kind, you need to stay here. I, in a minute, I'm going to lure our friend, Mr. Tickles, back into his prison. And hope... It goes relatively smoothly. Is it going to go relatively smoothly? I don't know. I am not a future seer. A far seer, yes, yes. That is beyond my ability. Right. Right, you jumped up bag of gonads. Come on. There you go. Through here. I don't know who's crying about being messed up, but... That's not us, and it's not really, if I'm being honest, our problem. Whew. Okay. Yes. Yes. Enjoy yourself in there. There's a good lad. Right. You can now come with us. Okay. You can kind of see what I mean by jimmying things around here. It's, uh, yeah, it's not fantastic. Now, it looks like we need an engineer for that. So, hopefully, just up here. We're going to find one. You've got a bad feeling about this, have you now? What's giving you such a bad feeling? Is it the fact that, you know... Oh, hello. Everyone's dead. Because that would put the willies up anyone, to be honest. Right, let's get this. Powered up. And we're going to head through to the north. Oh, kill him. Kill him. Kill them. Kill them all. There you go. There you go. Right, let's go. Sneaky, sneaky. Into this room. Okay, cool. Now, in this room, we've got a load of med kits. And we're going to use those. We're going to enjoy those. We also have this. Where we can see our friend. He's having a bit of a good time. Oh, there is one big boo-boo that I've done, actually. There is one big boo-boo that I've done. That's awkward. We can use these gun turrets as well, but nothing there to shoot at yet. What we're going to do is we are going to have to sneak back in. God damn it. <laughs> I fucked up. I fucked up. Right, you go sit over here. Luckily, I don't need to worry about you now. I just need to get our friendly tickles out of here. Right, count on them. Let's be doing this. There you go. That's it. Yep. Take a nice big swipe out of my asshole. Oh, is he in here? Is he not in here? He's in here. Of course he's in here. What did you think was going to happen? Son of a... Oh, hi. A little bit faster than you, aren't I? Or should I say you? Oh, God, wait a minute. I'm sure there's a sprint thing that we could do. Ow. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, push the fucking button, you dickhead. Whew. So anyway, now we can come through here. I can't believe I forgot about this. Son of a bitch. Okay, so this is our engineer friend. As you can see, he's in a bit of a bad way. God, help me. Yeah, all right, buddy. Now, uh, all right, we're going to give him one of those. Yeah, there is. And there's also another problem. <laughs> that is that you are completely unarmed, my sir. Uh, yeah, this is a bit awkward. Okay, so let's get you out of here with all the weird, gribbly gonad suckers. Come on. There we go. Okay. Oh, uh, that's bad. That's really bad. Well, 
This is going tits up pretty quickly. And you're not following me, my guy. You should be following me. Come on. Come on. Follow. There we go. God, son of a bitch. Okay, it's fine. That's fine. Now, where is Gonad? Gonad is out there. Somewhere. So let's get him in here. Yeah, we do have company. But can you... Oof. Okay. Okay. Remember when I said everything that could go is going wrong? Yeah. Uh, hopefully he's going to return to his patrols in a minute. Because these two kind of need to follow me. So he returns back to his normal patrols. And then we need to go play silly buggers and get him locked back up. Hey, don't call me a pansy, you bitch. Yeah, there we go. He's returning to his patrol. Like a good little boy. There we go. Right, you heal up our other friend. You guys stay in there. And we are going to go grab this guy. No, you thick cunt. Come on, get in. In. He's freaking out. He's freaking out. Okay, you stay there. And then... No. <sighs> right. <sighs> okay. Come on, guys. Back inside. Everybody back inside. Okay. Now, can you fucking do as you're told for five seconds and stay there? Don't move, don't talk to each other, don't hold each other's dicks. Just shut the fuck up and sit there. Get me a weapon. Yeah, we're trying to get you a weapon, but if you could stop coming down with a case of the extreme tards, this would be a lot easier. I mean, I've worked with some thick fuckers in my life, but you guys, ugh. Right, stay, don't move. Don't walk through that door. Stay there. Jesus. God, thick bastards, man. Anyway, whatever. Right. Let's get Mr. Tickles back locked in here. And then we can concentrate on... Oh, goody. Oh, hi. Hello. Good to meet you guys. That's fine. That's... You know what? I'll take it. It's not perfect, but I will take it. Whew. Do you want to patch me up, Doc? It's just a scratch. Yes, well, just a scratch is all these bastards need. So now, let's go down here. And lead us into this area. Right. Come on, Chief. At least... Are you not following? Did I not tell you guys to follow? <sighs> there we go. Okay. They got their special little hats on. Right. Now you need to repair that. Come on. Come on. I need an engineer. There we go. Today, buddy. Well, I'm, I don't know what's going on with your schedule, mate, but we've got things to do, people to see, you know. You just don't feel like doing it, huh? All right. I mean, go on. Jesus. That felt like way... Oh, you just pissed yourself, did you? Yeah, well. Right, let's grab this stuff. Yeah, I do hear that. Now, from what I can remember, we've got to run through that without actually dying. I think. This mission is bullshit. Yes, this mission is bullshit. I agree. I'm sure, because we can't actually disable it. I don't think. Okay. And I think if we run through there, we actually die. DNA oh, no. Analyzed. No, we don't. Okay, that's fine. Here's me panicking about something that doesn't need to... Ooh! Kill him! 
Yeah, they should be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Right, now we have our flamethrower. So we're actually good here. Right, you, buddy. You. Yes, you can actually... You can have some ammo. You actually, to be fair, you did all right with that ammo. You, you really kind of made it last. Now you, Dixon, you can have that. As much ammo for it as you can handle. There we go. Cool. So he's happy now. We're going to grab as many more magazines out of here as we can. We're going to grab some more machine gun ammo. And we're going to go get ourselves equipped. Lovely. And we're all flamed up as well, I believe. Cool. Right. Come on, you two. Pair of special bastards. This is going to be a long video. So what I'm going to do is cut it in half, I think. All right. We'll keep going for a little bit. Yeah, I see it, mate. I see it. Not happy about it, but I certainly see it. Oh, actually, there's a save room in here, isn't there? Might just... You know what? We'll drop a save here and we'll call it a longer video. Yeah. So, when we come back, we're going to continue dragging these two idiots around. And uh, hopefully, they're not going to kill each other or kill themselves or kill me, which is, to be fair, fairly likely. But we'll find out. Thank you very much for watching, guys.